Good morning. I don't normally start my vlogs off sitting on the ground, but I decided since I'm not actually going to do a haul of this stuff on my main channel, I wanted to sit down and show it to you guys over here. I just have a very specific um, set of videos that I'm going to be doing for September, and so this isn't part of that, but I wanted you guys to see it. Plus, we're going to do some setting up with it as well. I have to say that for some reason I'm really sleepy today. I just feel, I don't feel blah, I don't feel, you know, down or anything. I just feel really calm and just, but also kind of sleepy. Like I could just sit on the couch and veg out and watch I Love Lucy or Bewitched or Sabrina and just be completely content doing that and having a good book. And I rarely have a day where I do that anymore um, just because I've been so busy with, you know, uh, YouTube and decorating the house. So I popped into Hobby Lobby to get the stuff that I knew I wanted and I got these two shelves. So I'm actually going to be installing these where my nightstand is. I could also add books. I'm going to try to do something. Something that's a little bit different than Garland, to be honest. So uh, we'll just have to see how that works out. These were on sale. I just, so you can see the detail. Wood, you know, actually it goes like this. Wait, I'm confused. Okay, it goes like this. Yeah, I like that. But I'm missing something green. So I got these mini wreaths, but what I liked about these wreaths is that it kind of like extends out so it'll take up some space, but the wreath itself is small. Then I picked up this little fall garland. It's actually, I think it's supposed to be like a candle um, thing. What do they call these? I don't even know if there's like an actual word for it, but if you guys saw my decorate with me in the living room, I used a wreath, the blooming lamp style that Liz does on her channel, Traditions by the Seasons. And I, as soon as I did that, I remembered that Hobby Lobby had these smaller versions and I thought this could be cute in the media room. These gorgeous picks. Hobby Lobby was just putting them out. So anyways, these are absolutely gorgeous. You can see their picks. And I, what did I envision with these? Was it the media room? See on a smaller scale, not as orangey. Okay, but I got these for the kitchen, which we're gonna do together. So anything I feel like that I do in the kitchen, I don't know if it's gonna be a main video or not, but anyways. So I got these and you're gonna see that in the next clip because I also picked up <clears throat> these for the kitchen. So, I mean, hello. You know, every time you see me do a Hobby Lobby haul, you can clearly tell that I've been really into the greenery and I feel like it it adds decor to the house but it still makes my home feel weightless and airy if that makes sense you know I feel like there's something about green that doesn't feel like it's overly loud and distracting I don't know so anyways um, these were $11.99 each, but they were 50% off, so I'm six bucks each. And if you watch all my hauls, then you know that I got these uh, cake stands, which actually I forgot to put them in the haul. I'm diving, I'm diving so far left, but um, you'll see. You'll see what I'm gonna do with these in this video. Then I needed some Mod Podge. I could not find mine I went, when I moved here. I must have thrown it away because I think it was all crusty and gross. So I needed a new set, which is one of the other main reasons why I didn't finish my DIYs for my main channel because I needed this for some of them. Okay, so that's what I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I've been promising you guys that I was gonna do a fall mug collection video, which actually, let me take the time to say that thank you for everyone who helped give me ideas for what I could name my weekend vlogs that are just going to be like shorter vlogs. I'm targeting like a five, six minute type of video. Um, and so that means that we're going to have vlogs every day, which is really exciting. And 
But when I went through my fall mug collection, I suddenly realized I really just, I don't know why, but I didn't have that many and I love mugs. So, and I need to organize them too. So this weekend, we're gonna do that. It's supposed to be, I think Sunday's video. Um, but I just wanna say that I think of all the names, which all of them were freaking fabulous, but the one that got me so hard was when, um, and I'll try to throw up the comment here, but she suggested Weekend at Marie's because I love the movie Weekend at Bernie's so much. And that's just, it's so fitting. It's so perfectly fitting that we're gonna title the Weekend Vlogs Weekend at Marie's. But I'm jumping ahead. But anyways, so for Saturday's video, you guys are gonna get a sneak peek of my new mugs. It took a while to get here, but you guys, mugs are the cheapest when you go to stores like Ross, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. They're $3.99. Trust me, I've looked on Amazon, I've looked on eBay. I mean, there are amazing finds, things that you won't find in stores in places like Amazon and eBay. But $3.99? Are you out of your mind? This is the cutest mug. And then it says trick or treat on the handle. Love. And then I also found this one, another boo. It says boo to you. And it's lined in this beautiful purple, also $3.99. And I got the matching plate to that one. Do you see the trim in purple on the side? It's kind of actually hard to see, but on this edge, it's trimmed in purple. I don't know why that's so hard to see, but hello, make some cookies, so adorable. And then the last mug is this one. Bunch of little black cats lined in the orange. So incredibly adorable talking for a while but I had so much to say and sometimes I do I need to be chatty for a minute sometimes when I'm editing I do find myself cutting down a lot of content and I don't know why I do that because I know actually a lot of you love the longer videos but I think I do it, and I don't know if any other YouTubers watch me or not, or they can relate to this, but when you constantly hear yourself, and then you have to hear yourself again to edit, and then there, and I do so many videos, it's almost like, I just, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just need to cut the content down. I, get, I don't really know, but I don't really need to do that, so. Anyways, um, all right, so like I said, the mug collection is gonna be up on Saturday or Sunday. And then Saturday's video for Weekend at Marie's is gonna be a story time, and which I am actually probably gonna film here next. But let's get into the kitchen and let me show you what we're gonna do with these. Excuse the lighting because you're facing a window so that creates this whole blind thing because I am filming on my phone and you guys are ne I, when I'm editing I'm like they're always crooked okay so here's what I'm talking about right here I hauled these like cake stamp pedestal things and I knew I wanted them wanted the lamps to go on it which I love I love how this looks it raised up the lamps a lot, but it's also kind of bare here. So that's where these come in. Now I could have done a wreath, but these just ended up being cheaper. All of them off of that main stem because I just need to be able to kind of wrap it around here. And then I'm just Setting this in like that. All right, 
so this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's kind of falling off of the edge, which I really like as well. Now this is a lot of green, green here, green there. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that. And I need to fill in this corner over here. It's looking a little... Okay, so then, you know, when it comes to holidays, I can throw in some picks, which is exactly why I got these because I was thinking, you know, I could do something like this. How cute is that? Just one. You know, it doesn't need to be even. I actually like how it's just kind of tucked in on the right side and it looks really, really cute. So there's that one. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this one. But just to show you guys the difference, the lighting is just terrible today. You can just kind of see without, with. So I definitely need to um, add it to this one as well. And here they are together. Love it. It's exactly what I wanted it to look like when I envisioned adding this pedestal to raise the lamp up. I just have to figure out if I'm going to keep that there. I mean, I, I like it. It's not, you know, it's not, um, I don't hate it. So I think it'll probably end up staying at least for now, definitely for now. And then maybe next year I'll do something, something different on the side. So I actually could pull these in and then get something similar to this, but like a topiary, like a tall one, and then have this a little bit further on the inside. So that was the original plan, but right now I'm not going to focus overly much on the kitchen anymore other than, and excuse the island, but other than I just have not figured out what I'm going to do here. I have all of my like DIY stuff out, have bread out from, I made eggs and toast this morning. So I didn't like where I was headed. I tried the, the Lazy Susan thing, which was beautiful, but I decided to take that back and I'm gonna start from scratch again. I think once I get the kitchen island part finished, then I have little things like this corner is just random. It's not final whatsoever, so don't even look at it. And then I have some leftover stuff on this table. Um, I'm decorating for fall. So I did this DIY and it is going where I had it in the video, but I haven't decorated for fall yet. So, uh, and then I just have some DIY materials and stuff in here that I need to take out. Yeah, so I need to get all of this. Um, oh, and I brought out a puzzle because I wanted to do a puzzle, which I think might be in my weekend at Marie's. I think I might do a puzzle too. So, but here's the kitchen just from this view. I need to do something with those sponges because just, um, yeah. You can see the back corner there. I'm still playing around. I have no idea what that's going to look like. And I haven't thought of anything for above the cabinets. I may do something. I may not do anything. I don't know.